everyone. I just wanted to do a um, sort of a video response to Car Carla the Bubble Lush's um, video on puzzles. She was mentioning um, Montessori um, teaching techniques and a lot of that is using like natural um, materials like woods and metals and I don't know, things that feel real besides plastic. Plastic toys aren't bad or anything, but um, it allows the children to understand real textures and natural textures. And um, She was talking about puzzles and uh, the puzzles she likes to give her, I think she's a year and a half now, I think, her little Hannah girl. Um, and uh, my children, uh, my son is going to be three very soon in about a month and my daughter will be 18 months and another month too. So a year and a half and three years old are their ages and I'm just gonna share with you um, the puzzles that we play with. This is a Melissa and Doug puzzle and it's just little fishies as you can see and colors. Um, all of the puzzle pieces are the same shape which I like. We just focus on colors basically and fitting them in. Yeah, it's a really good puzzle. Um, I would say this is a good puzzle for 18 months and older um, because the shapes are, it's just one shape and you just slide them in. They're easy to, to push in and you can focus on teaching colors. This is a chunky puzzle by Melissa and Doug again. I think all my puzzles are Melissa and Doug. They make great puzzles. Um, and this is a chunky puzzle because you can just pick it up. Puzzle pieces uh, pop out and you can see their 3D effect. <laughs> Um, this is a great puzzle. I got this from my son before my daughter was born. I think he was, yeah, he was 18 months old. He loved it. He, he's obsessed with vehicles and anything that moves kind of with wheels or flies or whatever. So he really, really enjoyed this at 18 months old. It's so easy to pick up and slide in. It's so much fun. I like, I like putting it away <laughs> myself. The next puzzle is another Melissa and Doug one, and these are shapes, circle, you can also teach colors, there's, um, circle. Yeah. circle, see, circle, yeah, diamond, diamond, see, oval, oval, mm -hmm. he loves this puzzle, see, and he just learns his shapes from it, I think it's a great puzzle, I think it's an 18 month plus puzzle, again, um, you could do two years old as well, it's not going to hurt to start a little later, but 18 months is a good time to introduce it and start talking about shapes and colors. So this is another vehicle one, my daughter likes it as well. Um, and this is a peg puzzle and the image is underneath so it's easy to find. We really like this one as well. Come sit by me! Hey, you want to play with the puzzle? This is, um, the next puzzle is a numbers puzzle. I think Carla has the same one and there's zero, there's nothing there and then you have one snake two turtles and so on. There's colors, there's counting, there's shape matching, all that fun stuff. She just loves to destroy puzzles. This is a really fun puzzle for um, an older kid. I would say two years and above, maybe even three. My son is really good at it now. I only say this because you have to use this, I have this little tool truck, magnetic bottom. It's a Melissa and Doug puzzle by the way. And you just pick the piece up and you take it out like that. The reason it's difficult is because you're only going by shape. That's it. There's no image underneath. It's just the shape. So you have to find, and all the car shapes are different completely. So that's the challenging puzzle, but my son loves it, and he's really good at it now, and he's nearly three. I actually got this puzzle at Target um, during Christmas in their little cheap section, you know, when you first walk in. Um, super cheap. So whenever you go to Target, look out. I think Walmart has the same thing. It has a little section that's cheap. Especially around the holidays, they have a lot of little kid stuff. And this is a peg puzzle. It's really great. Um, little alien or monster. Yeah, it looks like aliens. And um, this is a great beginner puzzle. It does have a lot of sh a lot of pieces to it. I would say a great beginner puzzle would be about three pieces, maybe even just one. They have really simple ones out there. But this is good for, I'd say, about 15 months, 18 months plus. It has a really easy pickup. Um, there's no image underneath. It's just the shape, which is challenging. Um, so maybe it's an 18-month puzzle. But um, my daughter likes to take them out and try to put them in. She usually goes like that. <laughs> I have to help her put them in. Another magnetic puzzle, and this is an, an aquatic puzzle. Um, and you use, I don't know where my fish one went, 
So I think it was a boat with a magnet at the end, and I can't find it. That is the life of a parent. But anyway, this is another tough one. I would say two years and older. Um, don't be surprised if your kid doesn't get it right away because it goes by shape, and all the animals are different, different shapes. And my son really likes these kinds of puzzles, the ones that are more mysterious. So this is one of Pierce's favorite puzzles. This is a more challenging puzzle, and it's recommended for two years and older. Um, when he first got it, he just he fell in love with it. He loves this puzzle. And uh, he was playing with it for like ugh, days in a row, like all the time. So one side you'll see there's trucks, fun little images, little dog in the middle. And then on the other side, you can also play by just colors in the color wheel. And you can see it might be a little challenging because um, it's just a different shape of puzzle and there's more pieces to it. It's more like a jig, it is a jigsaw and uh, it's a, it's a fun puzzle. My son still really enjoys it and he's had it for about three months and will play with it. I don't know, maybe almost every day, every other day. He really, really enjoys this puzzle. Another Melissa and Doug puzzle. It is the three bear puzzle, which my kids love. You'll have to excuse the side busted off because my kids are not careful with it. Um, and it's a little mixed up inside, but you know, I'm just going to show you. I haven't put it completely away yet. There's the daddy's shirt, um, sleeping daddy. There's different faces like a sleeping face, um, awake, scared. There's different emotions. So there's two sleeping faces. So you can, um, you know, make it how you want. There's a little baby's face. Hello, little baby. There he is. He's surprised. So you can make a great fun time out of this by telling a story with the bears. Like, oh, they're going to have fun at the park and take pictures. And, you know, baby bear got surprised by something. You know, you could do all kinds of fun stuff with this puzzle. I We really enjoy it. And um, I'd say it's not really uh, for a kid under 18 months. I'd say... 18 months plus, maybe even two years, just because the puzzles are a little, the pieces are a little smaller, you have to be a little gentler with it. And uh, this puzzle, you can get this for, I don't know, I would say up to five years, six years old, because I had an older girl come up to our place and um, she really loved this puzzle and she enjoyed the storytelling part of it. So this is a great puzzle to have for a, lo for a long age range. Here's another puzzle I have not I, every time I, I take it out, the kids um, take all the pieces out and make a mess out of it. But they really lo love this puzzle, and I think this is a great puzzle for your money. You get, oh, let's see what I need to get one, two, three. You get five puzzles, pieces, I should say, um, sheets. They're met. They're wood. One side, and guess what? Another image on the other side. That's ten puzzles, and this is great for shapes. So I'm going to put little dog head, like circle, you know, and um, they're all over the place, gosh. Um, and then there's an oval and a triangle, and there's a bunch of different images in here, and I think it's really fun for any gender. Of course, I don't go by gender puzzles, and I avoid puzzles that are kind of sexist, I guess, like, oh, girls only do, like, puzzles with purses and makeup in it. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but there's a lot here, and I think I paid 15 bucks for it. But really, that's great for 10 puzzles. And the pieces are all wood, and the container is wood. It's super sturdy. Well, that's all our puzzles. Um, there's a lot of puzzles there. So, um, yeah, now we have to go clean it up. I have a big puzzle pile. What? So, <laughs> uh, well, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what kind of puzzles you have by doing a video response, or if you have any questions, Whatever, um, go for it. So, um, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.